G'day guys, Chris here from Vogus Prospecting. Today we're, is actually day two of a three day trip that I'm taking with a couple of friends of mine. We're digging hard for gold and what you're about to witness is one of the biggest cleanups of gold we've ever had. Well, test panning so far has been disastrous. I found maybe 10 specks of gold, tiny little micro bits in several different locations, and that's not really boding well. However, we do have two spots already marked out, ready to pan. I've just hacked my way in through this barbed wire hell uh, to fill up a pan from, well, you can hear it up there, uh, there's a little waterfall, and that's what we've been digging further downstream. So we're going to do a test pan below that and see if there's any gold in this one. I was starting to lose hope there. It was looking pretty grim. I've done 30, 40 test pans all up, all upstream of where we were working last week. And I finally got a pan that would be worth sluicing. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. About 32 specks of gold just there. I'm finding it really difficult not to get deceived by this creek. There's so many outcrops of what look like bedrock, which are actually just large boulders either sitting flat, so they look like a big surface area. Um, I just started digging in here, and I had to move this rock out of the way, which was up the other way, and it looked exactly the same colour, moss covered in brown. Uh, and now on the other side of it, I've got some healthy looking dirt. Well, at the end of the day's test panning, I've done as much as I can, and this is what we've got for a result. I can't say I'm terribly pleased with it. I would I would have liked a lot more than that in the bottom of the pan. It could get better though. We were digging spots last week where we got all right gold and we ended up with, you know, quite a lot um, at the end of it. Bring me your stick. Where is your stick? <gasps> oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Look at me. Where's your stick? Oh. I hate working with wet wood. It's a nightmare until it gets hot enough. Welcome to the morning of day two. Uh, this is the first day that we're going to get to actually do some work. So George is here. We're going to do... Um, as much sluicing as we can to get as much gold as we can. I've identified about four spots all in the same sort of area that we're already in. Um, and then tomorrow, if we've already worked those spots out, we're going to move across the bridge and we're going to keep working upstream uh, where I found more gold deposits. Forever running back and forth to grab things, small shovels and whatnot. <laughs> The joys and fun of prospecting. Gotta get back to it, the burning daylight. We're just running the test cleanup mat uh, at the top of the sluice and George is just pulling out the um the bottom mat and washing everything else out but we've got a little bit of gold which is good i've barely run 20 shovels for it so we're hoping it improves a little bit but we have got george's sluice going as well so most of it's probably going to end up in there i reckon because he's working a better section these are some of the nice bits we've got that which we think is quite spectacular to be honest <laughs> and then there's some nice bits of chunk coming through All kinds of colour. There's that bit there too. And the gems. We keep pulling these up. We're not sure what these are yet. But they are quite cool. They're definitely worth keeping. Um, all the shotgun pellets. Plenty of gold. First clean up. It's only in the morning. Um, yeah, that nice chunky bit. 
So we should get with a nice title. How to make panning off easier is using a very strong magnet. It picks up all your iron stone. Look at it all. Look at that bit. It keeps rolling. It's a roller. It's on quartz. This is just run one's clean up. Uh, we've still got cons to finally go through, but most of the gold sitting there. When I first got this top bit of miner's moss uh, in the sluice, from Trevor that sits just up in here uh, I was a bit skeptical not skeptical that's the wrong word but I was just unsure like how well it would work and I still can't believe how well it does work it catches I've said before in many videos that it catches you know 60 70 percent of my gold um, before it hits the mat it's phenomenal and it gives you something to do take a break and just clean out what comes out of it there we go, the top mat delivers again. Well there we go, uh, it's about what I expected, probably another point one. so I probably picked up a quarter gram uh, over the time that I've been sluicing there, about an hour, uh, hour and a half, on and off. It's the end of day two, it's about 5.30, got my rice on, fire's absolutely cranking over there, we've had a blast of a day, look at the gold we took, makes a nice noise. Shaky shaky. <laughs> uh, we only worked the sluices uh, for about two and a half, three hours max each. Um, so we put about six hours work in to get that across two sluices. And you know, it's been a fantastic day. So with a bit of luck, with any kind of luck, with the rock gods with us, tomorrow will be the same. Welcome to the morning of day three. The crew is ready to go, especially Craig. <laughs> yeah, Grizzly's had all these shapes, so now we've got to go dig some gold. No croc gold adventures, we want gold. Right, now we're going to see if we can actually turn this thing on. Oh, look at that! Let's go! And it's tons of water! <laughs> oh, I can't argue with that. Right, it's going to be a good day. <laughs> This is the first clean out for mm -hmm. day three. Um, we we'll just washed the sluice out and we're going to wash the mat out and we'll find out what we've got. <laughs> we're getting really excited because we can see gold in the mat. You can see a bit just here and you can see bits all through here, a uh, bit just there. And there's, like, there's just tons of little micros here, there's a nice bit just there. Uh, as well as shotgun pellets, like you can see one there, one there, one there, there. Uh, so there's plenty of gold in here. See they're all coming out. Nice. <laughs> I can't believe the amount of shotgun pellets we've dug out of this place. It's ridiculous. Look at it all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, There we go. That's a nice specimen. Want a bit of quartz. <laughs> but see, like, this gold there. Oh, yeah. And it's garnets. Oh, I'm sorry, not garnets. There's a whole bit of yellow ones. But this is what we care about. 
we look at it. My boy! <laughs> We are on a main road, as you can see. <laughs> Grizzly's going home for the day. It's been three days of camping and he's pretty stuffed. Uh, we're getting back to it, however. <laughs> Welcome to Reedy Creek, ladies and gentlemen. The pinnacle of northeast prospecting. George is getting ready to get waist deep in water. That's a lie. Knee deep, probably. Knee deep. Knee deep. Knee deep. Yeah. Or a grasshopper. <laughs> Why is this undoing? <laughs> Why is this not working? <laughs> Mine's broken. <laughs> We're doing the final clean up for the day and this is where it gets really exciting because we've just done a massive run since before lunch, uh, probably starting around uh, 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning uh, all the way until now, which is sometime in the afternoon. We don't have clocks down here, all our phones are flat. <laughs> um, we're going to do really big one. Hopefully there's a ton of gold in these mats. Look at this. Oh, that's, a, that's a nice little bit just there. All these little bits just here. There's that one there. Which is only little. There's one just over here in the corner. Any down lower? We don't want to see him lower, but is there any? Oh, look at that up here. Mm. All them. So I'll pan this one off, and then um, we'll put that in and add it together. And do a spectacular reveal! <laughs> you got that there. <laughs> this is a brick. It's close. It's close. Here, I found this. It's metal. It is metal, yeah. It's pitted as. It's old. Yeah. Like cast iron, maybe. It's probably out of fire or something, maybe. No, well, it's too clean cut. Look, like, that's a nice cut edge. Get it melted out of it, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Fire. Oh. Yeah. Or just just about to witness the total for like two days worth of sluicing and one day worth of prospecting. Open your eyes, George. It's oh. <laughs> not a bad total. We got a couple of really nice specimens. So we got the staghorn, which is what George has nicknamed it, which is a pretty good name. Um, and then there's bits of quartz up in here as well. All that have nice little chunks on them. There's a few smaller ones scattered throughout that as well. So we're just going to heat it up and then get the total. Not often that you dry out your gold using a camp jet burner and a cup. <laughs> okay, take two. Lens is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> um, all our gold's in the cup. And there is still a little bit of black in, in it and um, a little bit of white sand as well because we didn't have any soap, but we're still going to weigh it up and get a rough idea. So tear it off, all zeros, and we're going to run it in. Five, seven ounces, <laughs> twelve ounces. Four. Four grams. Four point oh five. There, so there is rock weight and black sand, so probably just under four grams. That's not bad. Most of that was done today too. Yeah. There's probably only one run worthwhile before that. Yeah. Very good. Well, thanks for watching YouTube. <laughs> Till next time when we get out in Reedy Creek. <laughs> <laughs> Hope to catch you out here. Remember to hit the subscribe button uh, down below if you liked the video and check out the Facebook page Vogus Prospecting. See ya.